How you guys doing? Good, Coach. Good. How are you? Good. Coach, kind of going back to Monday night, Damari obviously being a rookie, understood that probably he's going to get targeted a little bit the four PI calls. One thing that he didn't do is change the way he played. How much confidence does that give you and him going forward, especially considering he responded big late? Yeah, uh, he did a really good job of, I um, mean, not really surprising, just knowing the kid and knowing the, the young man, I should say, and uh, knowing the, you know, the way he competes and his confidence and all of that stuff he's shown since day one. And so uh, it was good to see him go out there and uh, continue to battle. And, uh, you know, that's part of playing in the NFL, especially at that position is uh, you got to deal with adversity. And he did a good job. Yeah, he's done a good job too, and uh, it's great to see a lot of these young guys contributing. And uh, like you said, uh, week in and week out, he continues to get better. And uh, you know, starting in the preseason, and uh, he's done a good job. And uh, it was good to see him get that sack the other night, and uh, you know, make some good plays in the run game. So, yeah. What Are area specifically? Of Singleton's? Singleton's numbers, uh, did they surprise even you as someone who's been around defenses on this level? Yeah, you, you're. <laughs> well, no. Um, you know, we played a lot of plays as part of it, and uh, but you know, he's just uh, he's a ball magnet, and uh, in the, during the course of the game, you don't realize how much production he's having, you know, and then you go back and look at the box score and look at the film, and uh, but it's a credit to him, and uh, you know, it's no surprise uh, just based on who he is, and uh, um, like I said, he has a nose for the ball, he could go find it, and he could tackle and get people down. So, what area specifically has Henningsen improved in the most over the last couple of months? Um, you know, it's just, uh, you know, Coach Dixon does a great job with those guys in terms of their base fundamentals and how we want to hit blocks. And uh, you kind of see it with him and you see it with any too, even though he's not getting as much playing time. Those guys are hitting those ba uh, those sleds and stuff every day and uh, they continue to do those drill works and uh, their techniques and fundamentals continue to get better each week. So The Chargers only threw Pat Sertan's way four times in this past game. Is that something you like to see or, or do you want them to test him a little more? Uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, they got to do what they got to do. We, um, you know, we feel confident if the ball goes over there that, you know, Pat's going to do a good job. And, uh, you know, uh, he's a weapon for us and we got to use him. You know, a big chunk of the, the high penalty yardage was the, the four pass interference calls. But just in general with, with penalties uh, with your group right now, where are you saying <laughs> you really need to, to clean, up, clean them up specifically? Yeah, you know, so, some penalties, you know, um, you know I'm not going to overcoach just because I think, you know, the game is so fast and bodies are moving around and there's so much reactionary stuff going on that, like, you know, it's just part of the game. And, like, I don't, I don't think you want to sacrifice the speed of what which players play with. But, um, you know, the ones that drive you crazy are, like, the offsides and those type of penalties and, you know, maybe some of the late hits and stuff. The, the things that we can control um, that think that take no, um, take no uh, really slowing you down in terms of your play. And so... Uh, um, those are the things that we got to continue to work on. This has a, been a theme for a few years here. The defense plays well, the offense struggles. Do you talk to your guys about got to stay together and you know not have division in the locker room? Absolutely. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we got to win as a team. We got to find a way to win as a team. And uh, you know, one big point we make to the guys is that we haven't played our best football, so we got to continue to find ways to be better ourselves and focus in on that, um, and let the offense handle the offense. And uh, you know, there's a lot of season ahead of us too, so we can't uh, be short-sighted. And we got to look at the long road and uh, continue to get better and uh, understand. There's still uh, how many more games we got? Eleven, something like that. Eleven. Yeah, eleven. Yeah. So with Jonathan, with Jonathan Cooper, he had a couple of hits on Monday, but you know, he's missed a lot of time because of injuries the last few months. So what does this say about him that he's able to contribute like that despite? missing all the time that he has so far this year. Yeah, no, it's a credit to him. And, uh, you know, he's had some unfortunate breaks and uh, bumps along the road. But uh, one, one thing he does is that he works really hard, uh, even when he's uh, rehabbing. He's still on the field. He's still in the meeting rooms. Uh, he's trying to do everything he can to get back on the field. And he st keeps himself prepared, especially mentally. So he's done a good job of that. What do you see from? Yeah, I mean, I just think there's frustrations with all of us when we lose. I mean, it doesn't really matter who's at fault. Like, we didn't win the game, and that's the only thing that matters. And uh, so we're all frustrated because we don't want to be two and four. But, um, you know, I, what I appreciate about this group is that, like, each week we come in on Wednesday or whatever that first day is, and we just go to work, and we can't worry about what happened, uh, uh, where we are in terms of record and stuff because we can't control the past, and we can only focus in on what's ahead of us. So, Coach, what do you see from the Jets offensively and – any similarities with Michael Fleur and some of the other coaches, including Nathaniel, how they call plays? Yeah, no, it's very similar to what you see from, you know, San Fran, from Green Bay, from our offense, and uh, a lot of similar concepts. Um, you know, at the end of the day, all of te all these teams want to run the ball. 
Um, and they have a variety of uh, creative schemes to get it done. And so uh, we got to be ready for the run game. And then what about Zach Wilson, uh, just as a young QB who's obviously battled a little injury, but yeah. see some of the talent? Very talented. Uh, thorough, very talented in terms of his athletic ability. Um, obviously, he's continuing to grow as a, um, you know, in terms of the knowledge of the game. But, uh, you know, he's a very good player. And, uh, you know, he's picked number two or whatever for, for a reason. And so, uh, you know, we got a good challenge ahead of us. Coach, how do you? How do you balance Baron Browning's get off at the line with, with also not going off size? We, we've seen that happen over the past few games. Yeah, he just has to do a good job of looking at the ball and keying the ball and um, not guessing. So, um, you know, he's working on it. He's getting better. But uh, for every, all of our guys, that's the key. So you can't listen to the cadence. You can't guess. You just got to key the ball and go. Thanks, all right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.